Hello and welcome. I am Ghulam Abbas from TechRoll.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install RODC. It means read-only domain controller here in Server 2016. So let's get started. Before going on, I have to tell you that I am using a VMware Workstation Pro. Here is two servers, server 1 and the server 2. Server 1 you can have a look here, this is my domain controller and the server 2 which I, uh, this is not even a part of the domain. So I have configured each and everything on uh, my domain controller. You can have a look here that uh, it has an RDS. I, it, it means that I have installed already Active Directory domain services. I have already installed DHCP and the DNS. They are all, all configured. So uh, to get started, uh, one thing else I uh, I should not. I have to tell you that uh, you need to put both of them on the same network. I mean, they both have to uh, must be on the same uh, VM net. So if I have to go ahead and if I have to check out the my server, it is on VM net four. You can have a look here. It's in VM net four, and uh, this one is also on the VM net four. Let me. It should come, and you can have a look here. It is on VM net four and. Uh, you can have a look here if I should click here it's written techros.com already although it's not a part of the domain let me have to show you that it is not a part of the domain system.cpl and you can have a look here that its name is dc02 and slash techros and it's not a part of the domain so I'll copy just the name um, so let's go ahead so now that I am ready with the all configuration, let's go ahead and start the job. So I'll go ahead and I'll open the Active Directory users and computers by typing the dsa.msc to open up the Active Directory users and computers. So you can have a look here that Active Directory users and computers, they, that, that is open. If I have to expand down there, uh, let me have to make it full screen it will be better uh, so on the domain controllers you can have a look here I had already created an uh, sorry there is no other uh, account only the DC01 which is my uh, currently the domain controller there is no other domain so let me also go ahead and I should also create a new user uh, inside that one so let me I have to create a new user uh, by the name of a pass there will be no problem with that and paste and next and the password so I will also check the user cannot change the password and password never expires and when I am done I will click next and I am finished so I have created this user so the next thing which I need to do I need to create a pre stage so in order to create a pre stage just go ahead right click on it and then select pre-create read only domain control account so select that one and uh, here we are on the welcome wizard of the domain services installation wizard I will select use the advanced mode installation and then I will click next and here I am on the network credentials. I need to type down the network credentials. For example, currently I am logged in with my current account which is techros slash bus. And uh, if you want to use an alternative path or an alternative credentials, just go ahead and select and then uh, select set and go ahead type down the username, the, the password and then go ahead and go forward. So for now, I will go ahead and I will use the current logged in on the credentials. And when I am done, I am going to click next. So here we are. Uh, here we need to specify the name of the computer uh, which should be created as a pre-stage of the domain controller so uh, the I'm going to specify the server 2 names which was uh, I think DC2 I think it was DC2 uh, Tecros yes that is DC2 Tecros I'm just simply going to copy that one and I'm going to paste it one here yes that's done and I'm going to also click next and here we are on the 
default side of the active directory sites so further i will uh, further in the next uh, in the upcoming videos i will tell you what is active directory sites and i will tell you each and everything about the active directory sites but if you want to uh, get more information currently for the active directory sites just go ahead and google for active directory sites so i will click next and by the file is going to be on the default first site name and i will click next and it's going to examine some dns configuration uh behind this screen so we can now log them and venerston will be on the next page so here we are on the additional domain controllers option by default you can have a look here it is the default settings of uh recommended by the microsoft so it's uh microsoft is saying that uh by default the rodc it means the read only domain controllers they are a part of the dns server and they are also a part of the global catalog and the read only is even disabled because it's already at the rodc so if you want to uncheck the dns server or the global catalog just go ahead and unselect them they will be they will not be used for the or DC server which you are going to configure right now for that one so I'm going to click next and uh, probably the most important part of the uh, pre-stage domain controller or the auto DC is the password replication policy now do you know uh, the only reason why we are creating an auto DC is because uh, in a place there there is not that place is not uh, a safer place it means uh, every day for example uh, someone is blocking the doors and they are taking the servers or anything else or there is not an IT guy so uh, we, we can tell that uh, the password is uh, sorry the there is less security that's why we are using the RODC so by default you can have a look here these are the password application only it is allowed for the uh, RODC if I have to explain it you can have a look here it's only allowed for the RODC password application group not for the others for example not for the administrators not the servers not the backup not the account and all other of them it means only only and only the RODC password will be cached will be cached on that server which will be which server which will be the server 2 so for now uh, if you want to change or if you want to bring some changes just go ahead select add and go ahead uh, allow or deny or any of them by default they are denied so i will take next and here you have to specify the name of the user where the password application should be cached so if you remember i had already created a user by the name of a bus so i'm going to type down that one and i'm going to check the name and okay and i'm done from this part and I, 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 I'm also going to copy this one. Uh, remember, you can add a group or a user. I have just added a user instead of a complete group. So I will click next. And here we are on the summary page of the Active Directory Domain Services Installation Wizard. So you can have a look here at the settings which have already applied. I'll, uh, taking up from the top, which is the uh, currently domain, the site, the read only, and the global catalog, DNS, and all other information which is available there. You can if you desire you can export these settings from here as a text file so if you needed them so for now i will click next and here we are at the last step and click finish to finish up the what to finish up the installation uh, sorry the creating of the uh, rodc so you can have a look here that now that i have created the rodc in the domain controllers you can have a look here the first one dc01 which is currently the domain controller uh, that is its type is the global catalog but what about the dc02 or the tecros it is written unoccupied dc account read only it means yet it has not been restarted or yet it is not uh, on it uh, there has not been worked anything on it so let's go ahead and perform it and we have to change the unoccupied dc account to the gc or the dc so uh, i'm switching to the server 2 and i'm also going to close them uh, i go ahead and i will open up this server manager So here I am on the server 2, I have launched the server manager 
and here you can have a look at i have already installed the added yes but i have not configured it one so you need to install it but you don't need to configure it also don't forget that uh, this server is not a part of the domain i mean the say the, the second the, the, the second server if they should be a part of the domain that time you you can't configure that one as a auto dc server so uh, I have already installed the radius, so I'm going to configure that one. I'll click on the notifications and I'll select promote this server to a domain controller. So here I am on the deployment configuration page and here you can have a look here that we have actually we have uh, three options here. The first one is uh, add a domain controller to an existing domain which currently we are we are going to use that one and the second one is add a new domain to an existing forest. For example, there is only one forest and what uh, which forest and that is the uh, domain controller of my own PC which is the DC01. And this, the third one is for the first time when you are installing uh, a domain control uh, when you are installing a server uh, for, for, uh, sorry when you are creating a new domain you need to select add a new forest that time you can create a new forest uh, and there will be where you where you are going to save them or what will be the password uh, sorry what will be the password administrators and I don't know uh, RSM restore more password the domain name and all other infos will be there so the deployment configuration is now ready let's go ahead into dive in it so here I am on the on it and I'll select the add a domain controller to an existing domain here you can have a look here there are the child tree and all other of them at a new forest so we are going to use the first one I'm going to type out the domain which is the techcross.com and uh, I'm going to provide the credentials which credentials the cred credentials of the user which uh, I had already typed that before and that is techcross slash apas which I had typed there in the while creating a pre-stage domain controller let me have to put this one there so and uh, what will be the password the password I think was this thing I'll click next yes and that's fine and I'm going to click next here we are in this section and here you can have a look here that uh, a red green arrow a red green arrow is saying that a created already see that matches the name of the target exists in the directory it means that this RODC account has already been created in the active directory which is which we did already before so uh, it's saying that uh, use an existing RODC account or reinstall this domain controller I'm saying that no go ahead and select use an existing domain controller because we need that one and uh, you can have a look at the specified domain controller capabilities and the side information you can have a look here by default they all are a part of the RODC because we already configured them we are in the first server while creating the RODC so uh, it will be again it's the same and go ahead and type down the DSRM it means the directory service restore mode sometime it may happen you, you found yourself in error so let me have to type down the password a small password will be for this and when I'm done I'm going to click next and we are in the additional options so you can have a look here we have two options here install from media and uh, and then specify additional replication options you can have a look here that the install from media is a part for example uh, currently you can have a look here we both are connected I mean uh, both servers are connected through the connection between uh, through a van link or through a link of the VM net between both of them but sometimes it may happen you are in uh, an organization uh, some uh, there is not any internet connection or the van link has been broken you are not connected to the server now in order to install uh, in in order to install the RODC uh, or uh, without our DC any other accounts or controller uh, you can use install from media just uh, on the server you will go ahead you will uh, open up the CMD and you will export all the settings of the Active Directory on that and then uh, you will copy them on the USB and you are going to uh, 
you will uh, you will be you will install them till this part and when you come here you will just go ahead uh, click browse and you are going to select the path where uh the exports export settings for that you're just going to select them and you are going to import them here in the server and that time uh, that will be installed without the internet connection that is called the install from media but this one which is spe uh, specifying uh, or installing a, uh, an rodc is installed according to the uh internet internet is needed there without that it's not possible to install the phone so uh, it is any domain controller or the dc01 i'm saying that just go ahead and replicate that one it means cache the password from any domain controllers which are available there so for now i'll go okay go ahead and i'll click next and uh, here we are on the pause it's asking from you where you want to save the data i mean the NTDS dot, the sys volume, and all other information. I will say they are fine. Although Microsoft recommends to save them on another drive for the speed performance. So no problem for that uh, for us. And then I will click next. And here we are on the review options. It means the summary options. Here you can have a look here. The all the settings which we already applied. They are here. Uh, you can also view the script. It means uh, you can use it according to. A command line also you can have a look here that you can install it and the install the install command is install rds domain controller so uh when i'm done i'm going to click next and here uh, it's going to check the prerequisites uh, requisites of the active directory domain services configuration wizard uh, i think it's going to take some time oh no 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 it's first time that it does not take any time <laughs> and uh, i'm going to click net install in here and probably it's going to take some time until it's going to determine install the domain controller it's going to update upgrade the status and uh dns installation and all all of them will be done so it's going to take some time when it's done i'll come back to you guys And here you can have a look here that the server has just reboted and you can have a look here that the background has been changed because of the Apache user uh, that was not that was not never used before and uh, let me I have to go ahead to the uh, tools and I have to open up Active Directory users oh sorry computers not the services where is computers here uh, and then we will check there can we create a new user inside that one or no and till that time that's going to come let me go ahead and move over to the server one you can have a look here that instead of unoccupied you can have a look here this time it's written read only and then a part of the global catalog it is if you can have a look here so let's go back once again and let me i have to expand down there and let's create a new user inside the users right click select new where's you there isn't any new because this is a read-only domain controller. You can access uh, them from your own, from the real server also. You can have a look here. If I have to click uh, here, this one change domain and click browse. Oops, that's not here. Sorry, that's not here. I, th I thought we can change there, so no problem with that one. So I hope you have, you have learned this small trick which I have show you how to install the read only domain controller in the server 2016. So if you had any question, just go ahead, type down your questions in the command section. You can also ask your question in our website, which is techros.com. Don't forget to visit the whole article of it in my website, which is techros.com. I have also given a link uh, on the description to Understanding read only domain controller for the betterness of yourself. So, till next time, have a nice time and goodbye.